Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So, okay, so we're gonna do, first I'm gonna do the oil change and this time, I mean, everybody keeps telling me I should put 540 instead of the 030. So this time I'm gonna do 540, I'm gonna put a brand new oil in it, brand new oil filter, and then we're gonna go and ch change those um, solenoids. Okay guys, what's going on is here one there, one here. There's two each on inside. So one is here on the top and I think another one is on the side. I'm gonna remove all this so I can find that piece. But all you have to do, I already took it off so I can explain you. This thing goes on the top and there is like a lock right here. You gotta pull it up and press this black piece because if you don't press this it won't come off and then there is only one screw right there on the bottom if this thing wants to zoom yeah right there so you unscrew the screw you can take a pliers right there and then you just grab it right here and just go left and right and then you pull it out this is one and we have a brand new right here so that's one so we're gonna go and remove all this and find it another one that's on the side okay so it's very simple we gotta put some oil on this rubber right here so we don't break it some fresh oil and then all you gotta do just put it back in the hole screw it up put this thing back and that's about it it's really simple Alright, that's it. There's a screw right here. It's only one screw. You just slide it in. It kind of just goes inside like really easy. Push it all the way down. Put that screw back. And then we're just gonna plug it in back. Let me see this side. Let me see from here. There you go. You lock it in. And this one is changed. It was like five minutes. This is all you need. Now we're gonna remove the intake. I think we're gonna remove this pipe. Maybe just this all, all together. We'll see. I think all together. I'm just gonna remove it and and see where is the another one. Yep, there is another one right there. So when you remove um, air intake pipe right there, you don't have to remove everything, just the pipe right there. I mean, there's like a screws around here, at top, you see? So remove those screws, and then another one is right there. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take the screw out, and we're just gonna pull it out. All right, this one came out. Yeah, looks like there's a rust on it. It this it could be this one. I'm not really sure, but it's not like in the great condition. But now we're gonna put the brand new one in. Okay, I just got uh, a little brand new oil on it, and we're just gonna slide it in. Since the screw is all the way in. I'm gonna try and put the screw right here right now and then just push it all the way in in the hole that's it the job is done you just slide it in put the screw in put the uh, cable back on lock it and that's it now we're just gonna put the the intake pipe back and we're done all right we got everything back in i mean it's only the intake pipe we got new uh sensors camshaft positions uh position sensor and on 
we'll see we're gonna go and start the car now and <laughs> and I hope everything works all right I hold the fingers <laughs> Okay, let me start it again. Oh, now I can hear it, it works a little bit better. Maybe I had to wait for a, for a minute. Uh, I guess till the oil goes through or something. Everything works fine. Oh man, I just got scared. <laughs> Remember, don't do this at home, man. Just go to the professional. All right, guys, that's it. I made it. I was scared, man. It was making a, some kind of noise. It was like a deep noise. So I was like, man, I messed up something. So don't try this at home. I'm not recommending you, but it was easy. It was just like five minutes. The only thing I didn't record, the one on the side, it was really stuck, man. My my fingers are hurting. I got the pliers that like, um, I don't know how you call them that you can lock it in. And then I was pushing for like 10 minutes, man, it didn't want to come out. But did you see, there was like a rust on it. I think this one, that's the one that, it, that uh, it could have the problem. I'm not really sure, but we'll see, you know, we'll see when it gets cold. I'm going to, you know, make more videos and I'll let you know, guys, if it worked or not. If it's an engine or it was just only the, um, those uh, camshaft position sensors, I hope it is and thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video all right thanks bye